Everton Carnival's big comeback. After a two-year break because of COVID, they're returning to the streets in style. So I'm a peacock, but we thought we'd go for the Jubilee sort of colours and everything to celebrate the Queen and the Platinum Jubilee. Amazing, excited. Barely had some sleep because I'm so excited to be back. It just capturing, soaking in the carnival spirit. I don't know, it just, it just comes, it just grabs you. And yeah, we're all looking forward to today and happy to be back. Thousands of people watched the carnival parade pass through the town centre for the first time since 2015. It's also the first time Pride in Luton have taken part, ahead of the town's first Pride event later this month. We just want people to enjoy ourselves, forget the rain, dance, because that's what you have to do when you're in carnival. You've you got to dance, you know what I mean? And just enjoy ourselves. We've had COVID and now we can celebrate with everybody. And if you're free on the 25th of June, come down to Luton's first Pride, Pride in Luton, uh, and continue the party. And it's a double celebration on this Platinum Jubilee weekend. The Queen's representative in the county, the Lord Lieutenant of Bedfordshire, not the only one getting into the carnival spirit. Having carnival back in Luton is massive, massive for us carnival people. So I'm really very happy that it's back. Up at my end, the atmosphere is buzzing and we are going to show Luton town that carnival is back. And after being involved with the carnival for nearly 40 years, Auntie Margaret's preparing for a jubilee of her own. Sarah Cooper, ITV News, Luton.